went to sailing out over the bar. Way, Rio. They pointed their bows to the southern star and we're bound for the Rio Grande. Then are the Rio Grande, me hearties. Many's the time I've been bound for them parts. Sure as my name is Captain One Eye, which it ain't. It's Michael Aspel, and I'm down here at Southampton, waiting to welcome you aboard our ship, the Bonaventure. So watch your step. We're about to start on a long sea voyage, you and I, maybe 20,000 miles. A voyage that'll take us to Africa, across the Atlantic, to South America, and round Cape Horn, which is pretty rough, and don't say I didn't warn you. Up through the Pacific, past North America, to the Arctic, Greenland, and back by way of Scotland. I'm ready for anything, and I hope you are a good sailor. And we're away. The tides are right, and soon there'll be just us and the ocean. Love away, way, Rio. Sing fair ye well, me pretty young gal, and we're bound for the Rio Grande. Well, we're out to sea now, and all alone. Well, almost. Those gulls have been following us ever since we left harbour. Do you know there are over 40 different kinds of gulls throughout the world? Most of them come from the northern part. No sign of land now. Somewhere over on our left, ah, I caught you there, it's port, not left. Somewhere on our port must be the coast of Africa. Now we're sailing westwards, out towards the Americas. What a strange, quiet world. It's easy to imagine things out here, like the galleons that once sailed with gold from South America, spices from the West Indies, and the pirate ships that plundered them. I did not mind expense. I bought her two gold earrings. They cost me 50 pence and away. And what about the lost city of Atlantis? Legends tell us that this fabulous city sank beneath the sea long ago. Are its ruins down in those deep, dark waters? Well, we're on a southerly course now, down the eastern coast of South America. And here come the first birds I've seen for quite some time. Frigate birds, they're called. Sometimes they're known as the man of war bird because they attack other birds and make them give up their food, just like pirates. Now there's some amazing birds just passing overhead. They're arctic terns. Do you know this bird travels farther than any other, right from the arctic down to the antarctic where it spends the winter, and then back again, a round trip of over 20,000 miles. You dance the polka My flash man, he's a Yankee With his hair cut short behind He wears a tar Now we're off the coast of Patagonia in South America And I'm looking for something rather special Yes, there he is It's the sea elephant and a big fella too About 18 feet from tip to tail That downturned snout's nearly 18 inches long And it's that trunk-like snuzzle that gives him his name He's a three-tonner, fairly clumsy on dry land, but you just watch him in the water. What a beautiful swimmer. Ah, now, look at that, you see? The giant of the sky is the wandering albatross. What a fantastic wingspan, 11 feet. He's sure king of the ocean skies. Funny thing is, he never flies higher than about 45 feet. Well, now we're close by the Falkland Islands. They say the wind never stops there, but it doesn't worry these fellas. Look at them, hundreds and hundreds of rock hopper penguins. It's amazing, isn't it, the way they spring up out of the water as the waves crash onto the rocky beach. I suppose that's why they're called rock hoppers. And there's another monarch of the ocean. 
the magnificent humpback whale. He's a master acrobat, enormous bulk, but as graceful as a dolphin. And who'd think that such a massive creature could make such beautiful sounds? Just listen to this. Now you see that, flashing over the surface, it's a group of little storm petrels. The old seafaring chaps used to say that petrels held it a storm, and in this case they could be right. Rounding Cape Horn always was a chancy business, and I do not like the look of that sky. Yes, we're heading straight into some real Cape Horn fury. Waves here can be up to 25 feet high, even on a fairly calm day. It's going to be a bumpy ride. Well, I'm glad that's over. Almost lost my sea legs. Let's check our position, shall we? And it's a bright new morning off California. Everything clear and sparkling. Just right for those lovely sleek things, the sea lions. Yes, they're the ones you see mostly at the circus and in the zoo. A bit later, we may get a look at the daddy of them all, the walrus. Which reminds me, better make sure of my Arctic gear. There's a cold journey ahead. There he is, a gigantic walrus. What a whopper. Those tusks must be over two feet long. Good weapons, those. Though he's mostly a gentle creature, he actually uses them to dig up food from the seabed. It's a funny noise to make when you're wide awake. By the way, we should be seeing the northern fur seals soon. Yes, there's a pack of them. You know, because of their thick fur, they're sometimes called sea bears. But of course, they're not bears, really. Now, we're keeping our eyes open for a real bear. And there he is, over to starboard. The Emperor of the Arctic himself, the polar bear. He's about eight feet long and about 1,600 pounds of grace and power. Superb creature. He's standing up with his nose in the air. What's he looking at? I'm sure something must be coming. That's what he was looking at, snow geese. Snow geese by the thousand. They're on their breeding ground in the Arctic. Just look at those pure white wings with their black tips beating the clear frosty air. One of the fabulous sights and sounds of the northern seas. Now listen carefully. I bet you can't tell me what this sound is. Do you know what that is? It's ice. Huge mountains of glistening ice, scraping against each other. And out there somewhere is the Arctic fox. Do you hear that? Over to starboard. Cottage door, 
Don't you unto me did say Then away a Santy My dear honey Oh you knew you'd go Can't you Well we're on our way home now Heading towards Scotland And I'm looking out for one of the most impressive Sea creatures of them all A killer whale And there's a pack of them It's a funny noise, but it's a whale, all right. They come up to 30 feet long, and they weigh nearly four tons. That's as heavy as an elephant. He's fierce, too, a real killer. And yet you can see them in some oceanarium, so they can be tamed. Sing fair ye well, me pretty young gal, and we're bound for the Rio Grande. Now we're off the west coast of Scotland, and there are some dolphins chasing alongside, the friendliest, most affectionate creatures in all the oceans, with an undersea language all their own. Yes, they're almost human. And they're still with us as we come into harbour. It's been a long trip, 20,000 miles, and I hope that you'll remember for a long time to come where we've been, what we've seen and what we've heard. The sights and sounds of the sea. Sing goodbye to Sally and goodbye to Sue. Way, Rio. And you are listening goodbye to you and we're back.